In the last video, I talked a bit about how to prevent your games from having bugs due to fluctuations in frame rates. So today I'm going to talk about a topic that has everything to do with this. How to optimize the performance of your games to prevent these frame rate fluctuations from happening and so that people with more modest devices, be it a potato PC or a low-end phone, can also have an enjoyable experience playing your game. I will start with one of the most obvious things, but which can have a big impact. Prefer lower resolutions for your games. It's no coincidence that many games made with Pygame tend to go for the pixel art style, which also has other advantages like making it a bit easier to create art and characters since there are fewer pixels to draw. To bring the game to a more reasonable resolution, you can always scale the final frame to make it easier to see things on the screen. To demonstrate the effect, I will use the Brachys game again, which already has a very low resolution, so it runs at about 200 frames per second. Now, if I double the width and the height of the resolution, which effectively quadruples the number of pixels rendered, the frame rate drops by half. Of course, if you already have a game that you are trying to optimize, this might not be a very practical option, as it can be a bit of work to adjust the rest of the game to function at the new resolution. You might have to adjust the art to fit the new resolution and even adjust the game logic. For example here, the parallax effect I created for the background no longer works at the new resolution. The next chip is just great, as it doesn't require any major adjustments to the artwork or the game logic. I honestly don't know why this isn't done by default in Pygame. Simply add the dot .convert method when loading images without transparencies or dot .convert underscore alpha when they have transparencies. Testing here with dot .convert for demonstration purposes, the frame rate returns to 200 fps, but the transparencies no longer work. So in this case I actually have to use the convert alpha method instead. With this, we recover much of the performance loss by the resolution change, staying in the range of 160 frames per second. Another very popular way to use transparency is with the set color key method, where a specific color in the image becomes transparent, similar to how chroma key is done. I created a simple function here that renders the image with transparencies over a pink background and makes it transparent with the set color key method. But the performance seems to be identical to the convert alpha method, so I think it's easier to do it this way right away. The third tip is to pre-render what you can or what makes sense. For example, the background and the game map itself, since they won't change throughout the game. Applying this in the practice game here, the frame rate increases to 330 frames per second. Since it's hard to notice the difference in a game running at 100 or 300 frames per second in a monitor with a 60Hz refresh rate, I decided to redo the tests on the worst computer I have here around, a laptop over 10 years old. Here the difference is much clearer, with frame rates of around 45 for the higher resolution and around 60 for the lower resolution which then increases to about 80 fps when I use the convert alpha method on the loaded images. And finally reaching more than 110 fps when I also use the pre-rendered background and map. There are other ways to improve performance in Pygame, but I believe these are the easiest and most impactful. What strategies besides these have you used in your projects? Write it down in the comments. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and until the next time.